Thank you for joining us at XM.com. This is today's Daily Market Comment by Jaralabos Pisuros. I'm Cristina Marujas. The U.S. dollar lost further ground against its major peers on Tuesday. It seems that investors continue to weigh the prospect of slower rate increases by the Fed as they await results of the U.S. midterm elections and the U.S. inflation data. According to the Fed Fund Futures, they are now assigning a 67% probability for a 50 basis points hike at the next Fed gathering and 33% for a 75 basis points increment. Up until last week, the market was split on the size of the next rate increase, but with the ballot counting of the U.S. midterms adding credence to estimates that the Republicans could secure a majority at least in the House of Representatives, chances of another triple hike are dropping. A gridlock Congress would diminish the possibility for fiscal support measures, leading to slower growth and perhaps easing inflation, which means less need for more supersized Fed rate increases. This is negative for the dollar, which stabilized today, though. Investors have another top-tier event to deal with, and this is the U.S. inflation data coming out on Thursday. Expectations are both for the headline and core CPI rates to have slid, which is a step in the desired direction and may add to hopes of a less aggressive Fed henceforth, thereby allowing a deeper correction in the greenback. That said, any bearish trend reversal in the U.S. dollar likely remains off the charts for now, with several other major central banks also leaning towards slower rate hikes. The Fed could hold on to first place in terms of hawkishness, while China's back-and-forth headlines are unlikely to permit a prolonged selling of the safe haven. Most Asian indices traded in the red today, despite earlier gains in European and U.S. stocks on Tuesday. Wall Street continued to cheer the prospect of a split U.S. Congress, whereas a further retreat in inflation tomorrow could encourage some more stock buying. Nonetheless, the gloomy outlook for the global growth does not allow interpreting the latest recovery as anything more than a corrective move within the broader prevailing downtrend. Gold cheered the likelihood of political stalemate in the United States as well. Higher borrowing costs increase the opportunity cost of holding the precious metal, and thus anything pointing to slower hikes and thereby lower yields adds a lure to the non-yielding asset. Despite the dollar extending its drop, oil prices fell more than 3.5% yesterday and continued to slide today. This may have been due to the worsening COVID outbreaks in China, adding to concerns about fuel demand. Thank you for watching the Daily Market Comment here at XM.com.